When it comes to getting to $10,000 per month, building a service business that sells tech marketing or creative services is my favorite way. It allows you to have a high cash flow business with a high profit margin. It allows scaling even to seven figures and beyond. Eventually, you can even sell a business like that. Also, you can automate the business and hire others to do most of the work when you can afford to do so. Despite those advantages to agencies or drop servicing, as the teenagers like to call it now, I still get a lot of questions about freelancing. You can actually get more traction faster by freelancing compared to starting as a business owner on day one and outsourcing. This is because outsourcing is a skill in and of itself. It requires time and it requires skill. It's not very beginner friendly for most people. Whereas with freelancing, if you have leads and you can deliver a service, you can start freelancing and people are already used to paying freelancers hourly rates for their time. It's not that special, right? Whereas agency work, it's a little bit different. People may not be used to paying agencies. So why do I still prefer agencies or drop servicing over freelancing? By the way, before we jump into that, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you get future updates on freelancing and agency business tutorials and business models. So the thing with freelancing is once you get into it, it's so easy to get stuck in this feast or famine mode. Either there are sales and the freelancer is working all day nonstop or they are near desperation looking for the next contract with the next client. Keep in mind, I'm not implying business is easy and it can be built with low effort. Consistent improvement over time is the best way to master skills and get amazing results. You always want to be at the edge of what you can do, but stay outside of the burnout zone, meaning you don't work so hard it's unsustainable. That being said, there are definitely ways to speed up the process by working intelligently with those ahead of you. The way a freelancer can switch to an agency, meaning the way they can get staff members and start setting up a business model, not just sell time for money, is they can do a few projects by themselves, then start hiring for the easiest tasks first, and then move up from there. They start hiring for outsourcing lead generation tasks, then they move up from there when it makes sense and when they can afford to do so. If you freelance for too long, you can start experiencing burnout symptoms from doing the same repetitive tasks for clients who sometimes are a bit crazy and difficult to deal with. What you really need is to have consistent lead flow and choice of who you work with. This is best done with an agency and a more automated business model. The more you can focus on marketing and sales, the better quality your leads and clients are likely to be. For this, you need to have a well-defined niche and well-working delivery, which usually is done by your teams. So too much freelancing can get you stuck working 70 to 80 hour weeks since clients can keep piling on new work for you, which distracts you in terms of time and focus from building the processes that you need to scale your actual business. Also, you don't actually wanna scale a system that forces you to work ever more hours, do you? Because scaling that just means more burnouts or risk of burnouts and bad health side effects. What really works is to scale efficiently and scale a highly profitable business model. If you're someone who is overworking and you want to switch to a better business model, first make some time for yourself to work on your business. That clarity and focus plus breathing space for your mind is transformational. A full-time business should be eight to 10 hours a day, five to six days a week of ultra focused, ultra smart and hard work. The most efficient way of getting there is by working on an existing proven business model. So what is the difference between an agency owner and a freelancer in terms of skills? A freelancer sells time savings for clients. They sell their own time to do this and they sell technical skills. For example, I offer front end development services on the WordPress platform. A business owner is highly focused on business activities and process growth within their own business, not so much within the client's businesses. In other words, as a business owner, you spend more time on your business than on clients' businesses. This results in your business as a business owner making more profit. Your clients getting a better, more consistent service delivered to them and better use of time for everyone overall. So next up, let's talk about lead generation. I have a video ready for this for you right here in the description. Go check it out. It's how to generate leads for your agency 
or freelancing activities. Click on the link in the description. And if you have any questions, ask them here below in the comments. I love replying to your best questions.